This week's weather could get gnarly in many states. Britney Spears shared some big news. And we're down to the last three Kmart stores? It's Laura. It's Monday. Here's the news you need to know. The short list is a snappy USA Today news roundup. Subscribe to the newsletter here or text messages here. Calling them basic common sense, President Biden took steps Monday to rein in the use of untraceable firearms known as ghost guns that law enforcement officers said turn up frequently at crime scenes. Biden announced federal regulations targeting privately made firearms that can be assembled from do-it-yourself kits purchased online or in a store. The weapons lack serial numbers, which makes it difficult to trace the owner. The rules, which have been in the works for nearly a year, will clarify that the unfinished parts sold in the gun kits, such as the frame of a handgun or the receiver of a long gun, will qualify as firearms under federal law. Russia is resupplying and reinforcing its invasion force in eastern Ukraine with a long convoy of vehicles heading to the region, indicating a new phase of the war is likely to occur there, according to a senior Pentagon official. Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky warned of an impending Russian offensive in his country's east and urged civilians to flee the region. The convoy seen in satellite imagery, stretches about 8 miles and appears to contain vehicles to command and supply infantry units and possibly helicopters, said the official, who provided intelligence assessments on condition of anonymity. The short list is free, but several stories we link to are subscriber only. Consider supporting our journalism and become a USA Today digital subscriber today. Oh baby, baby! Looks like congratulations are in order. Pop superstar Britney Spears is pregnant with her third child, she announced Monday. Spears, 40, shared the news in an Instagram post alongside a photo of a cup of tea surrounded by flowers, writing that she got a pregnancy test, and do well, I am having a baby. She explained she was confused as to what was going on with her body when she lost so much weight to go on my mom. Not quite, Sam. The couple have been engaged since September, just before Spears' 14-year-long conservatorship ended in November. The singer shares sons Sean, 15, and Jaden, 14, with ex-husband Kevin Federline. Brace yourselves, parts of the northern and central USA could see some seriously gnarly weather in the week ahead. Starting Monday, a huge storm will bring blizzard conditions to portions of the northern plains over the next few days, as well as the chance for severe thunderstorms and tornadoes over a large chunk of the central USA. Wildfires are possible across the southern plains. The heaviest snow is expected in Montana, Wyoming and especially the Dakotas from late Monday into Wednesday, AccuWeather said.